Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and I'm here with another makeup tutorial and this time I'm using my favorite Colourpop Cosmetics. This is a collaboration with my YouTube friend Hazel. I'll be putting her channel in my description box. Don't forget to subscribe to her channel and tell her I sent you guys. Now let's get right into it so that I can show you how I did this makeup look. Since I've been having really dry skin, I need to moisturize my face first to avoid dry patches. Next, to make my skin luminous, I love using this L'Oreal Magic Lumi Highlighting Primer. It really gives my face that luminous glow. Today, I'm going to use this Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I'm using my buffing brush to blend it in. To cover up any dark spots, I'm using this Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer using a small concealer brush. This Shella Brow Pencil is a great substitute for Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. It's easy to work with and it will last a long time. I'm using the edge of the brush to create tiny little lines. Then I'm using a spoolie to brush any harsh lines and make it look more natural. Because I love dark, thick brows, I'm going to fill it in using my BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio. Then, I'm going to clean the edges and highlight my brow bone using this Erase Base Concealer from Benefit Cosmetics. And to prime my eyes, I'm going to use the Pro Long Wear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre from MAC. For my eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Eyeshadow Quad Where the Light Is by Kathleen Lights. I use the shade Cornelius on my crease using a blending brush from BH Cosmetics. Using my chocolate bar palette in the shade Salted Caramel, I'm blending it in just below my crease. To intensify the colors I'm going to use on my lid, I'm going to use a Jumbo Cream Shadow Pencil and blending it in. I'm going to use the shade Triple Fudge on my lid area but not extending it on my crease. Next, I'm going to use my favorite shadow from the quad, Blaze, and really patting it on my lid area. Going back in with salted caramel and using it to blend out any harsh lines on my crease. Next, using my Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Duo Eye Pencil, I'm going to use it to line my waterline and upper lash line. I used Pistol for my waterline and Perversion for my upper lash line. Then I'm going to prep my eyelashes by using this eyelash curler. Then I'm going to use Urban Decay's Perversion Mascara to make my lashes more fuller. To make my lips hydrated, I'm using this Carmex Protecting Lip Balm. To bring back some color on my face, I'm going to contour using a darker foundation stick from Maybelline. I'm blending it in using a small stippling brush from e.l.f. For bronzer, I'm using this limited edition Hey Sailor Bronzing Powder from MAC. I'm focusing more on my cheeks, temples, and jawline. To highlight 
hide my face, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, forehead, and below my cheekbones. Then I'm going to use a buffer brush to blend it in. Next, I'm going to use this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder to set my concealer. To contour my nose, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and blend it on the sides of my nose. For a natural looking glow, I'm going to use this cream blush from Can Make using a stippling brush. To make my lashes more fuller, I'm going to use Katy Perry's Cool Kitty Falls Eyelashes. And for a natural glow, I'm going to highlight using my favorite L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Illuminator on the tops of my cheeks and on the bridge and tip of my nose. And last but not the least, I'm going to try on my top 5 dark ultra matte liquid lipstick from ColourPop. These ultra matte liquid lipsticks are affordable and pigmented. What you see on the tube is what you get. Here I'm using Limbo. If you are into that 90s lip, this is the color for you. have it guys i hope you like this video if you have any requests comment down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up i'll see you in my next video goodbye guys